$30 spent to flip into between four and 500 bucks. Let me show you what I got. You heard that right. This is a haul from the Goodwill outlet. These are things that I picked up that were not glassware and I spent about $30 on all of this stuff. And I should be able to make between four and five hundred dollars approximately on the things that I've got here. I'm going to talk to you about what I picked up, why I got it, and why I think I can get the price that I'm going to for it. Hi there, my name is Margaret. I'm a homeschooling reselling mom that flips things from garage sales, estate sales, and thrift stores on eBay and Etsy to help support my family. And if you are new here, welcome. I'd like to invite you to subscribe and hit that bell next to the subscribe button so you're notified when I put out new videos about selling online. Let me share with you what I picked up and what I'm going to get for it. The first item I'm going to share with you I actually didn't put into my estimation because I'm not 100% sure what it is. So this is a Santa and he is in some sort of it's some sort of mold. So you can see here it's hollow so I, I don't, I mean, is it a snow mold? Like if you lived somewhere that snowed, cause not here. Um, or is it a wax mold? I don't know what it is. So honestly, I really don't know what I'm going to be able to ask for it. And I, I don't even know. So if you know, let me know, because this is a mystery item for me. And I didn't, honestly, I didn't even try to look it up. So I thought it'd be fun to share with you that I have no idea what this is. So my guess is that, I mean, it definitely looks vintage. So I'm guessing when I don't know, I go high. <laughs> when I don't, <laughs> yeah, anyway. Okay, so I think I'm guessing around $25, but I could be wrong and it could be higher. So there is that. The next thing I picked up is this snowy owl. It's a folk manis puppet. I'm going to show you the tag because I've talked about folk manis before. And this is the tag. There's a different one for older folk manis puppets. I just had a turtle one that I listed. So this owl still sells for new on Target's website for about $30. So I'll probably put it up on eBay for maybe like $24 between 20 and $24. So it will still sell, but maybe not for the full $30 that someone could get it for new. And this one does need to go into the wash. It's got some stains on the back, but it's not too bad. Then I was really excited to find these because they are in almost new condition. They are Christmas stockings, but they're for pets. So it's got this really cute embroidered paw print on it. It looks like it would be embroiderable, embroiderable, is that a word? Where you could take it to get your pet's name embroidered on it. And I picked up three of them in the bins and they're all in this same condition. I didn't find the same exact one, but I found some that were very similar that were selling for about $20, $25. So that's probably what I'm gonna put each of them at. So if I sell all three of them at 20 bucks, then that would be 60 bucks, probably about 45, 50 profit. So the next item I have here is this Chewbacca Wookiee Christmas hat. My conundrum is it is new with tags, however, the tag is the price $9.99 on it, but this same hat is selling on Amazon for about $20. So my question to myself is, do I go ahead and take the price tag off and still sell it with like new without tags? Um, I'm probably not. I don't feel comfortable selling something as new without tags, even though I, I think because I got it in the bins. So I'll probably sell it as pre-owned. I take that back. It's selling for $29 on Amazon. So likely I will take the tag off, sell it as pre-owned, but or like newish condition, like newish condition. Um, yeah, I'll sell it as pre-owned and I don't know, maybe I'll leave the tag on. I'll probably ask 10 bucks for it. Eh, tell me your thoughts on that one. Another item that I'm not 100% sure on the price for is this nutcracker. And I don't pick up a lot of nutcrackers, even though there are some that can sell in the hundreds of dollars, depending on the brand. But this guy, I went ahead and picked him up 
there were some cheaper looking ones there. I, he's a, an enigma to me because I, I like that he looks really high quality. If you look at his face, he's got a really nicely carved face, a lot of detail, which you don't normally see in a lot of nutcrackers. But then he's kind of got these like glue on crystal, plastic crystals. So he's like a conundrum to me. I don't know what to make of it. Because his face, again, is like really nice quality looking. But then, I don't know. I think he still looks good. Uh, he works. He looks good. He's got a, maybe a little scuff on the back of his leg there. But overall, like he's in really great shape and he looks amazing. So since I don't have a maker to uh, as ascribe to him, is that the right word? I don't know the maker, so I can't put that in the listing. I would have to really describe him very well to get a good buyer for him. And I'm thinking around $45. I'm going to do definitely more research because I can't find another one that's got a face quite like this. It's three-dimensional. It's more human than like these wooden straight noses that some of them have. I don't know. I mean, they're supposed to be human, I suppose. But anyway, I think you know what I'm talking about. If you know more about Nutcrackers or can point me in a different direction, I would love to know because at this point, I'm thinking around $50. But I mean, they do go into the hundreds if you get the right Nutcrackers. And next up is this cocktail shaker. It's got a bit of a glare on it, sorry. But it's a little snowman. And I couldn't find another one just like this one either. He is a stainless steel. He is. Why am I calling things he? It is a stainless steel snowman cocktail shaker. So you pop his head off and that's where you'd put the drink in. And then the top part, his hat, is where you would pour out the, the alcohol. So I couldn't find this little squat chubby one. I found some taller ones that were selling anywhere from $30 to $45. So since I couldn't find this exact one, I'll probably price towards the higher end of that just because when I can't find something, I go towards the higher end. So likely I'll put them up for around $45 or so. I'll shine them up a little bit and get all the fingerprints off them. So the next thing I picked up is this jellyfish. Isn't it adorable? So it's a green and blue jellyfish. It's been crocheted. And there are some just like this selling on Etsy for about $20. So I'll probably put mine probably around the $15 mark. Let me know. Isn't it cute? I can just see it hanging in a, in a nursery or something. So, so cute. Yeah, let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, I think I'm probably going to list it for around $15, $20. This next item I went digging in the bins for because it had definitely dumped out. And it's a party chime and on one side. And the other side says angel chime. So basically you have these little candles and the heat rises and makes the thing spin around. And I went in because it had been dumped out, like I said, and I was able to gather up what I thought was all the pieces, but I'm missing one piece. The one important piece, and that's, there's like a little pole that goes from here up that that you put on there, and it's missing. I mean, I, I might be able to find something to replace it, but oh well. They are selling still new on some sites for about $25, but if I had gotten all the pieces, I might have kept it for a little while, just for the fun of it, but I probably would have sold it for about $15. So the next thing I picked up are called mag formers. They are magnetic tiles. They are different from magnet tiles. Magnet tiles are really similar to this, only they are filled in all the way. And magnet tiles are a lot more expensive. But these still sell for a lot of money. And I bought some more out on another bin strip that I haven't shared with you yet. But I have some more already. So when I saw that there were four, there were only four, I was like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get them. And I'll put them with the other lot that I have that I just haven't shown you yet. And recently, a lot of 26 mag formers sold for about $25. So they're still valuable, but I need a few more to lot up to create a lot to sell online. So, and now it is Perry the Platypus. He is from Phineas and Ferb. And I just listed a plush Phineas and Ferb. They're up in my shop. So now I've got Perry the Platypus. 
should I put them together? I'm wondering, should I take that listing down and list all three of them together? No, probably not. I'm going to probably list Perry for about $12. He's really cute. Maybe I should go higher. Eh, we'll see. A 16-inch one is selling for about $15 to $17. So I think $11 bucks is okay. $10, $11, $12, somewhere in there. The next thing I picked up are some wool balls. They're not yarn. They're roving, which is for needle felting. So it's really pretty variegated wool. Isn't it gorgeous? Okay, for my my tactile quilters and sewers look how beautiful that is so I see and this is from a specific site they don't sell this variegated wool anymore but I see other sellers on Etsy selling wool roving that's like a solid color uh, for about oh about 12 or 15 dollars look how pretty they're like mermaid colors so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven balls here. So I'm thinking I might ask about $20 for them. Next, I found Jabba, Jabba the Hutt. He is a Lego Jabba the Hutt. And I did search around for more. I found one other little piece of Lego in there. But Jabba is going to be the one that sells. And he will sell for about $15. All right, prepare yourself for Christmas ornaments because I got a lot, but I've been selling a lot, so I felt pretty good about getting them. First is this little prickly hedgehog ornament. I'm going to probably list him for around $12 to $15. The next ornament is a little wooden vintage drum with an angel popping out of it. Now with this ornament and a couple other wooden ones I got, they're definitely vintage. I'm, I'm on the fence about listing them by themselves or listing them in a lot because I can't find ones just exactly like them. Like here's this rocking horse one and it's like a rocking horse cradle one. And then there was this horn player. He's pretty interesting. He's definitely aged. It's a horn player. I feel like I should list them. Oh, he's got some damage, doesn't he? Yep, he's chipped a little bit. And then a train. Um, oh gosh, here's my, my thought, my conundrums. I, I could lot them together and get maybe, I don't know, $20? But then my other thinking is there's going to be a train collector that wants the train and will pay 10 bucks for it. And there's going to be somebody who is a horn player. And he's going to want... I mean, that almost looks like a British uniform. Look at him. He does. He looks like... And he's got the tall hat. Um, he looks super old, doesn't he? Um, and there's going to be somebody who wants the British guy playing the weird horn. You know? And they'll pay 12 bucks for that one. Look at me talking to myself. I guess I'm going to list them individually. And then the cute little... Like this one, I'm thinking somebody's going to have had this when there was, oh, it reminds me of the one on grandma's tree or something like that, you know, and they'll want that particular one. So they'll be willing to pay 10 to $12 for it. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll just list them individually for about 10 to $12 each. The next ornament is a nativity. It looks like it's maybe hand carved. Um, I've seen other nativity wooden ornaments, not, I mean, I always think mine's the nicest though. Not quite as nice as mine though, that are selling anywhere from eight to $12, but I really do feel like mine is cooler. <laughs> um, so I think I'm probably going to list this closer to $17.99. Let me know what you think. So I got this made in Mexico. It's either tin or aluminum angel painted and I'll probably list this for about ten dollars and I'm just gonna say because I get the comment all the time like why would you waste your time listing stuff for so cheap and my response is always of course we would all like to always find things that sell for a much higher profit but that just doesn't always work out and so I try to go for the highest return on investment I can and I work with what I've got so this cost next to nothing and getting a five to eight dollar profit on it would be amazing 
So the next item, oh gosh, you guys, the next item, we're going to take a break from ornaments and come back to them in a minute. I'm so in love with these. I'm so in love with these. They are napkin holders and they're little animals. This one is a chicken. This one is a turkey. And some of them have this little leather accoutrement. Some of them have like a leather add-ons. I can't think of the word I'm looking for right now. Here's a little bunny rabbit and it's got little whiskers. There is a duck, an owl. Look at the owl's eyes. A turtle with a little leather tail and a piggy. And they've even made a little knot in the piggy's tail. Isn't that cute? So there are seven of these. I have a feeling there was probably maybe one more, but this was all I could find in the bins. And, oh gosh, they're so cute. I will probably ask at least $50 for the lot of these because I could not find anything like them out there. I saw a set of four like random animals selling for $25. And these ones are magnificent. I think they're so amazing. I love them. And if I used napkin rings, I would keep them, but I don't. And I wanna sell them for $50, so I will. Then I got these coasters. These are not the Pimpernel coasters. Pimpernel's a really great brand. This is called Royal Table but they have a really cute snowy village, which I think is adorable. And I looked up this brand and some of the patterns sell for like eight to $10, but then there are a couple that are up there, like some ducks and a fox hunt and some flowers that are listed for closer to $25. And I think, <laughs> here we go again, I think my snowy village ones are extra cute. And so I'll probably list the, these ones for closer to the $25 mark. I think I can get it. The next thing I got, I wasn't 100% sure what they were going to sell for, but I had a fair idea that they were going to do okay. And I found a lot almost exactly like mine up for sale on Etsy for about $68. So I've got an apple, a papaya I don't know what it is a bean pod a mango I think I think it's a mango a turnip <laughs> maybe a turnip mine don't have as many okay I think mine's missing a couple so I've got five the one that's up for 68 I think there are eight of them in that lot so I might list mine for closer to $40 so next up is another tin, it was like made in Mexico, tin painted set. I found as many of the pieces as I could. I've got Mary. <laughs> I've got, they're loud, okay. The cow, or the ox. I've got Joseph, I think that's Joseph. We've got a wise man. And another wise man wise man and I like a random shepherd unless that's Joseph who's this other guy <laughs> these are really loud we've got the angel and there's the other wise man who is that there's like a shepherd and a Joseph three kings okay there's the three like her. do we have two Josephs here's the problem we don't have a baby Jesus but, <laughs> and I think he's the key uh, in all of this scenario, but <laughs> I saw a set almost exactly, it's got the same Mary, it's got the same angel, but it's missing some of the other characters. It had the baby Jesus, but it sold for $80 on Etsy. So I'm thinking I can still sell mine. I won't get $80, I don't think, because I don't have the baby the baby who's the important part of the story so um i'm thinking i'm gonna still try to list these for forty dollars i'm not 100 percent sure but we'll see let me share with you the rest of the ornaments i got and i'm guessing around ten dollars on many of these and you let me know if you think i'm off 
This one is an iffy one because it's got a bit of a scuff. We'll see. If that doesn't come out, then it'll just go to redonate. I got a lot of these little angels. So I'll probably lot up these little angel ones. They're just like cardboard ones. There's six of them. So I might put them up for maybe 10 or $12. There are two black and white deer, which I will also probably list for about $10. Somebody might have a monochromatic Christmas tree that they want black and white only ornaments. There is a jewel encrusted shoe. Again, probably eight to $10, depending on what I find out. These two I thought were pretty interesting. They are angels. However, they are, they're made in India. I looked them up, I couldn't find anything like them. So I'm gonna have to do a little more digging. They're awfully interesting though, I think. The faces on the angels. They're different and she looks like she's not wearing a top either, which is which is unusual for an angel. <laughs> not so much of an angel, is she? Hmm. <laughs> and then we've got this little nutcracker ornament. He oh, he's almost like paper mache or something. I think he is like it almost feels like corn husk. And then is he's got twine hair rope or something anyway he's really cute and different and like look at those teeth he's like the the nutcracker that wants to be invited but they always forget to invite him hey guys hey i think you forgot to invite me to the party um i brought my my white elephant gift oh okay here i go okay <laughs> so the goofy little <laughs> nutcracker well i'll probably list for around ten dollars as well and then these ones i didn't look these up either but i'll probably sell them individually because somebody might be really into camels. So here's a camel. Again, it's sort of a cardboard type piece. And the rest are my favorites. There's a little pig butler sort of guy or a fancy man, and somebody who likes pigs. There is the piggy ballerina. And there is this wonderful frog. Just look at him. I love him. They almost look like carousel. Like this one's got a saddle he's got where he looks like he was a, a carousel animal so i might put that in my listing they look like carousel animals don't you think i think so except for these pigs i'm tempted to put the pigs together however my thoughts are if somebody is like into pigs and is a ballerina they just want this one they don't want this one so i'll probably still lot them i mean put them by themselves so let me know how you think I made out. I think I did pretty well. I can't wait to get these things cleaned up and photographed so I can get them sold on eBay and Etsy. Thanks so much for hanging out and I will talk to you on the next one. Bye everybody. Mm -hmm.